Right, hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the ongoing saga of Rust, the movie where, uh, you know, Helena Hutchins uh, was fatally shot. This, uh, I try to be as unbiased as possible when I'm covering this entire situation, because it has been an absolute, you know, well, an unmitigated disaster, gross negligence from start to finish. But you read from the title, these statements from the Rust armourer, Hannah Gutierrez Reed, is shambolic. I'm genuinely shocked hugely surprised uh, that they believe this is a good defense i don't understand it they're basically saying it was sabotage that's right someone planted the bullet having already previously admitted that they that the armorer as well as the first assistant director did not check the gun how 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 does anyone think that this is a good defense oh it was sabotage yes okay it might have been, right? Let's let's analyse that. Let's play devil's advocate. Let's have a look at that as a realistic potential. If it was sabotage and it was planted, because the statement is basically a live round might have been planted with the dummy rounds. Okay, sure. Sure. And then it was loaded into the gun. You'd have known. You'd have checked. You'd have gone, oh, there you go. Okay, cool. We'll just take that out then. But you've already admitted to not checking the, the gun. You've already admitted to not doing your job. So saying that it was sabotage is completely irrelevant at this point in time. It's not a good defence. It is also looking incredibly like the uh, armourer's attorneys, the lawyers, have basically been looking at all the conspiracy theories on YouTube. It was sabotage. Disgruntled employees. The people that walked off set. No, what, come on. Come on. The people that... To, to run with that as a theory disregards the fact that in police statements the assistant director david halls and hannah gutierrez reed the armorer have already admitted to not doing their job utter it's just I, it's so moronic i can't believe these are statements that are legitimately being put out there as a defense a legal defense might i add so let's dive into this ladies and gents thank you for appreciating uh, and coming back for this ongoing uh, coverage of this uh, if you've enjoyed it or you've appreciated it i say enjoy but you know what i mean hit that thumbs up button hit that subscribe button uh, and follow me over on twitter and instagram at mistake reviews but let's dive into this ladies and gents so i i can't believe it i genuinely can't believe it so the attorneys for rust armor hannah gutierrez reed who's being investigated by the santa fe sheriff's department in the wake of uh, director of photography helena hutchins death from a prop gun fyi loads of people get annoyed when i say prop gun Anything used in a film is a prop, whether it's a live gun or not, it's still a prop. I have a sword upstairs that I use in one of my short films. It could cut you in half. It's still a prop, right? Just there's the terminology used in the industry. Calm down. Um, but anyway, prop gun discharged by Alec Baldwin told NBC Today this morning that they're looking into whether a live bullet was placed in a box of dummy rounds with the intent of sabotaging the set. So what even if it was? If you did your job properly... You'd have you'd have known that it was there. How is how how on earth is this a defence? How on earth is this a defence? I believe that somebody who would do listen to this statement as well. This is they think you're an idiot. Also, talk about stating the obvious. I believe that somebody who would do that would want to sabotage the set. Yes, ladies and gents, someone that plants a live round in with dummy rounds would want to sabotage the set. I mean, big brain activity here from these attorneys. Yes, obviously. Uh, want to prove a point and want to say that they're disgruntled, they're unhappy. Really? Really? Uh, now, this is uh, Jason Bowles, the attorney for Hannah Gutierrez Reed told uh, NBC Today, and then continued further and said, and we know that people had walked off the set the day before. He did not specifically name the cameraman, who, or the cameraman, sorry, who quit uh, the set over complaints of housing accommodations. Oh, and safety. All of this completely negates the fact that there were safety concerns, that negates the fact that there were three discharges already, uh, accidental discharges of the firearm. I mean, come on. So Bowles added, I think you can't rule anybody out at this point. Like your client, not doing their job properly, as admitted. We know there was a live round in a box of dummy rounds that shouldn't have been there. We have people who had left the set who had walked out because they were disgruntled. We have a time frame between 11am and 1pm approximately that day in which the firearms at times were unattended. 
Why were the firearms unattended? Again, that's your client not doing their job properly. They were supposed to be, by her own statement, locked in a, like, literally locked away. So, I'm struggling to, to, to sort of wrangle with this as a defense here. How? How is it a defense? Um, now, anyway, in which the firearms at times were unattended, so there was opportunity to tamper with this scene. Yes, ladies and gents, of course. Uh, last Friday, uh, authorities found at least one live 45 caliber round in the uh, in the rust prop truck. Robert Gorentz, Gutierrez Reed's second attorney, mentioned that the truck was completely unattended at all times, giving someone access and opportunity. They should not be completely unattended. They were supposed to be locked away, as per the statement. So, NBC News, in their report, mentioned that it did not verify the attorney's claims that ammunition was left unsupervised, although Sheriff's Department did find 500 rounds of bullets, which were a mix of dummies, blanks, and what was believed to be live rounds. Yes, ladies and gents, they just planted one live round. Uh, Gorrance also stressed that uh, what the attorneys have mentioned before, that Gutierrez Reed was unable to do her job as armour as she was stretched thin, having two jobs on the set of the $7 million production. Russ was her second movie as head armour. So don't take the job. That, that I mean, that's like me saying, I don't know how to clean a toilet, but I'm being I hired to clean a toilet, so I'll just go and clean toilets. And then going, oh, I've accidentally put bleach on the toilet and someone's sat and like burnt their ass or something. Um, you can't, you, you're still at fault. You took the job. What? Ah, so frustrating. Anyway, Santa Fe County Sheriff uh, Aidan or Adan uh, Mendoza told today last week that a bulk of the investigation centers on Gutierrez Reed and Assistant Director David Halls. Hence why they both lawyered up massively. And they're releasing statements. I did a video yesterday on David Halls. These statements are just, they're a joke. They're an absolute joke. But they're releasing statements because they're trying to get ahead of basically the fact that they're going to have to go to court and a jury's, they're trying to plant uh, doubt in a jury's mind. I don't think anyone in their right mind is going to look at this situation and go, definitely not your fault because you didn't do your job. I mean, come on. How? So... Um, yeah, Gutierrez Reed said in a statement through her attorneys last week that she wasn't aware of how the live bullet which killed Hutchins wound up on set. So that's important. Uh, and Mendoza told NBC News last week he believes the investigation won't be wrapped up for months, uh, at which time he'll send it to the state's DA, Mary Carmack Altwies, uh, who has not ruled anyone out for any criminal charges in the wake of the incident. Now, there's more. All centered around this. And again, it just looks bad. All of it looks bad. So, hours after a charged Today appearance by her lawyers, postulating that the October 21 fatal shooting of cinematographer Helena Hutchins by Alec Baldwin may have been the result of sabotage? Do these people really think we're all that stupid? Uh, Hannah Gutierrez-Reed is now pouring fuel on the still theoretical fire by saying this. Never in a million years did Hannah think that live rounds could have been in the dummy round box said the latest statement from the crew member at the centre of the deepening police probe of what went so terribly wrong on the $7 million budgeted Western. Who put those in there and why is the se and, and why is the central question? Added the comments released in Gutierrez-Reed's name through the Office of Criminal Defence Attorney Jason Bowles. This statement is, again, shambolic. Hannah did everything in her power to ensure a safe set. She inspected the rounds that she loaded into the firearms that day uh, the second such statement from the armourer in as many weeks went on to say, no one could have anticipated or thought that someone would introduce live rounds into this set. Now, I will read the full statement in a moment because that's important, but just just, just wait for this, right? In a previous statement, uh, late last week, Gutierrez Reed's lawyers said that the armourer had no idea where the live rounds came from. And early Wednesday morning... Um, from Las Vegas with fellow lawyer, blah, blah, blah. Uh, we're again talking about these live rounds. But what's important, what's really important, um, is just this, this shifting of the blame constantly. So we've got, where's the initial statement? Because the initial statement's just, well, just a joke, basically. Uh, Hannah Gutierrez-Reed, first assistant uh, director David Halls. Uh, Halls was fired from a previous film because of gun safety lapses. Okay, fine. Um, so that, I mean, that's bad anyway. 
uh, and then was also fired from a Blumhouse TV project due to personal mis- misconduct complaints. It was never due to come back, ever. But two weeks ago, um, the Santa Fe Sheriff's investigation continues. Um, oh, where's the initial statement? Because the initial statement is absolute gold. Because it just... it, de- it How? 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 It's oh, such a shocking... The whole situation is just an absolute joke. Um, and if... The thing is, if it wasn't centred around something so tragic, it would almost be comedic, because these people just think you're all idiots. Um, Where was the previous statement? So the statement, um, because David Halls basically said, yeah, no, I don't know if I checked it. Uh, And Gutierrez-Reed, first assistant uh, director David Halls, admitted to the sheriff's office that he did not properly check the 1880s era gun before declaring it a cold gun. Right? So... He had already admitted he hadn't checked it. How? But no, remember, ladies and gents, it must be sabotage, even though individuals are literally admitting we haven't checked anything. How? How'd you reach that? Also, sorry for the bizarre light just shining in on my face. The camera will try and do its thing, but the exposure is pretty bad, to be fair. Um, Yeah, I mean, and basically everyone's just just running cover for everyone else um and uh, hutchins family has now hired uh, a law firm which specializes in personal injury and wrongful death litigation uh and which basically says gutierrez reed and halls are now trying to get ahead of the eventual police report by planting doubt uh, in case of trial which makes sense but no one's going to look at this situation and go yeah 100 percent, it's not their fault even though they've admitted to not doing their jobs properly in police reports But now, definitely, it's sabotage. Of course it is. Now, here's the full statement. Uh, Hannah Gutierrez-Reed would like to add a few points to the continuing narrative on the tragic events surrounding the shooting on the Rust set. First, Hannah was incredibly uh, safety conscious and took her job very seriously from the moment she started on October 4th. She did firearms training for the actors as well as Mr. Baldwin. She fought for more training days and she regularly emphasized uh, to never point a firearm at a person. Never in a million years did Hannah think that live rounds could have been in the dummy round box. Who put those in there and why is the central question. Hannah kept guns locked up. But you, in the previous statement, you've said that they were left unattended. <sighs> okay. Uh, including throughout lunch on the day in question. But you but you said... What? You said that they were unattended. We've just been over the previous article. It, the attorney said they were left unattended. Between 11 and 1. They were left unattended. Anyone could gain access. If they're locked up, who can gain access? What? What? (sighs) Anyway. Um, Including throughout lunch on the day in question, and she instructed her department to watch the cart containing the guns when she was pulled away for her other duties or on a lunch break. Hannah did everything in her power to ensure a safe set. She inspected the rounds that she loaded into the firearms that day. No, she's admitted to... She, uh, Okay, fine. Uh, she always inspected the rounds. She did again right before handing the firearm to Mr. Halls by spinning the cylinder and showing him all of the rounds and then handing him the firearm. No one could have anticipated or thought that someone would introduce live rounds into the set. But if you've inspected them, surely you'd be able to tell? Like, surely there's a big difference between a blank, a dummy, and a lead bullet. Like, I'm no, I'm no gun expert. But I would imagine there's a big difference between a lead bullet, which was what was found in uh, Sousa's, the director's shoulder, which obviously was the bullet in question that penetrated uh, Helena Hutchins killing her, and a dummy or a blank. But no, we inspected them all. It must must be sabotage. Somewhere between Hannah Gutierrez-Reed inspecting all the rounds, giving that gun with the inspected rounds to David Halls, and Halls walking that gun over to Alec Baldwin must have been sabotage somewhere there. These people think you're all idiots. Just utterly shambolic. <sighs> anyway, love to hear your thoughts on all of this. Let me know down below in the comments. Thanks so much. Take care.